over the period of uh, many months, Michelle and I have Skyped to talk to one another. Uh, different matters, some more important, some less important. And one day, she told me what was going to happen. That there was going to be a bat mitzvah, that she was going to be the bat mitzvah herself. And she asked me, since she needs or needed a Hebrew name, if I could bestow one on, on her. The first thing that came to my mind was the word blessed. I felt she was blessed. So I said it. And she said, well, that's good. I gotta, I'll accept that, you know, but I've got to find the Hebrew uh, version of blessed. And then she investigated it, and we got together on Skype again. And uh, she told me it was Baruch correct? Baruch And so I lived with that for a while. And I don't know whether she told me or it came to me that her grandfather had an English name, which was Bernard, and had a Hebrew name, which was Baruch. <laughs> it struck me as appropriate. Uh, the reason why it's appropriate has to do with the character of the man. Uh, he was an extraordinary man who had lived through and thrived despite the Holocaust. And we were, he and I, were very good friends. And I respected him and admired him. So here we are with Baruch Ha. Now, Michelle and I have been in communication by Skype. It's amazing. It's just amazing, all of this. Do you realize what's going on here? I mean, this, uh, this technology going on here that seems so distant from the Bible. But it really isn't. It all comes together. It comes together here and in Michelle. Baruch And uh, we talked again and we came to the conclusion that I would tell my story about how all of this happened. And I thought this was all I was going to say. But it's not. Because I came here today. And I saw things that really surprised me and pleased me. And I want her to know, I want you to know, that I love her very much, that there's a kind of nobility in her, and that I respect her enormously. And I want to thank you all for coming today.